Let us discuss about how to prepare for DI, LR and AR section of CAT 2016 in last three months, that is September, October and November. Let us first start with understanding the section which was conducted in CAT 2015, that is last year. There were 16 questions based on analytical and logical reasoning and there were 16 questions based on DI. These 16 questions were divided into four sets each of four questions. So, here you will anyways end up attempting in the multiples of four in case you are attempting the entire set. As far as AR is concerned, there were two sets which were very standard in nature. Uh, that is based on uh, standard arrangements and puzzles. Whereas two sets were slightly unconventional. To our surprise, there were, there were two sets which were based on quant. So, mathematical concepts of time, speed and distance or time and work were used. Sometimes even set theory based concepts used in arrangement or uh, analytical reasoning sets. In DI also, there were two standard sets within 16 questions of DI there were again two standard DI questions and two slightly unconventional questions. So, two standard questions were based on mixed graphs. So, multiple uh, data given to you, you are supposed to comprehend those multiple data and try to answer the questions accordingly. One of the set out of these two was also calculative in nature, but it was not difficult to comprehend. We have an online calculator, we can definitely use that. Other two sets were slightly newer as far as the variety and the language is concerned. So, it is obvious that these sets were slightly time consuming also. It required a lot of visualization, uh, imagination and organization of data. So, these are the type of sets which you can definitely consider it the last uh, you know, attempt. As far as preparation is concerned, there are two things which you need to follow simultaneously. One is attacking the standard question, getting a grip over it. The second one is exploring new varieties of question and discussing it with your concerned faculty. Standard set of questions which include as I mentioned mixed graphs will require a lot of meticulous approach and a detailed calculation. So, such questions can end up consuming a good amount of time if you do not remain careful. So, practicing standard set of questions you need to set timer every day. So, fix up say maybe 30 to 40 minutes and try attempting 3 to 4 sets a day. This will help you get a good grip over those questions and on the day of exam you are sure that in a worst case you are in position to attempt those 12 to 14 questions. For other varieties of question try exploring 2 to 3 different sets every day. Even 2 sets per day should be sufficient enough, but here you are not required to set timer because here you are exploring, you are trying to understand the approach, you are trying to discuss, you are trying to analyze. So, here sit along with a good amount of pen and paper with you, do not use online calculator while practicing here, but ensure that every approach, every set is thoroughly discussed post you know, the solving. So, even if you are spending say around 30 minutes for one set, it is perfectly fine as long as that particular set has been discussed for more than 30 minutes after that. You can continue with this approach for entire September and October and only in November where you should start thinking about the DI and LR section overall as a section and attempt try making out the strategies. At this point of time that is in the month of September and October, all you have to ensure is that you reach a bare minimum score so that on a worst case also you do not fall down. Our basic idea should be to not get scared by this section and by the perception that has been built over from CAT 2015. If you can somehow overcome this fear in this two months, I do not think so there is something that can go wrong in the month of November. Second thing that you need to start working on is usage of online calculators during mock CATs. So, there will be around 8 to 10 non MCQ questions which will demand a precise calculation. So, do not shy away by using online calculator. There will be otherwise also there will be some questions which will require online calculator. So, it makes sense to use that facility during your mock. Lastly, try to explore games based questions, especially looking at CAT 2005 as a base. Practice those questions, try to understand that logic. Try to go through such information in different different sports websites. This will help you comprehend uh, the data. This will also help you get acquainted to couple of jargons which are typically used in such sets.
Lastly, we prepared on count based puzzles, especially the chapters like time and work, time speed and distance, permutation and combination, set theory. These are the areas where just by improving the language quality, you can increase the level of difficulty. We have already worked on the basic concepts of all these chapters in maths, but the application, a good quality application can be seen when the concepts are formulated in a puzzle and uh, used in DI or AL LR section. This should definitely help you uh, reach to an uh, uh, attempt of uh, somewhere around uh, 16 to 20 by September and October. And by November, I am sure if you are following this uh, in a disciplined way, you should be able to reach 24 to 28 attempts. And on the day of CAT, your range can be anywhere between 22 to 30 depending on the level of difficulty. One thing that we need to take care throughout the preparation and at the same time attempting mocks is discipline. Discipline in the approach is something which will guarantee a good score in DI, LR and AR. When I say discipline, that means irrespective of whatever may be the breakup of question, you have to ensure that you attack standard questions first. I am sure if you are able to do that on the day of exam, you will have sufficient enough time to experiment on the unconventional questions. But those questions, those sets should not hijack your entire strategy and disturb your strategy on the day of exam. Just stay disciplined while attacking DILR section. Standard questions to be attempted first, get the bare minimum score, only then go for the unconventional questions. Do not get attracted by wrong set of questions. At any given point of time, if you feel that a particular set is consuming more time, please leave that set and move to another set. You will always have sufficient options to score. Wishing you all the best for DI, LR and AR section and also for CAT. All the best.